Good afternoon, everyone. Uh, welcome. Uh, welcome to the girls in ICT who have travelled here today. It is the girls here today who will be the women of tomorrow, who will shape the technologies of the future, which will impact on all our lives. And it's for that reason that I am personally honoured and pleasured to be in your company today. And it's also for this reason that Intel is grateful for the opportunity to play a role in International Girls in ICT Day. We take this topic seriously. Women are underrepresented in the ICT sector. And the way to change this starts with getting more young women to take up science, technology, engineering, and mathematics and education. So why is Intel involved? Well, we recognize that knowledge and technology have something in common. Together, they empower. And we want to ensure that you have an empowered voice in this much needed conversation. Science and math are valuable to girls and young women, whether they aspire to be perhaps a science teacher or an entrepreneur or a doctor or even an engineer. The ability to understand the world scientifically gives you the ability to make better decisions as a consumer, as a voter, as a mother, as a parent, and as a health conscious citizen. Intel has a long-standing tradition of working with women from all ages and stages of their development. So from primary through to secondary, for informal through to formal education, and increasingly we're working with adult women as well. Intel runs a variety of programs aimed at inspiring young women, some of whom we have here today. For example, we run com competitions in robotics where we have all girl or all female teams with, with mentors. We also sponsor science competitions that are open to girls throughout the world. And the clearest evidence of the importance that Intel attaches to this is the girls in the room today. So I have the honor to give the floor firstly to Naomi, uh, who's both Naomi and Mary have come over from the US um, to join us here. So I'm gonna ask both of you to come up just now, first of all, is that okay? Uh, and while they're doing so, could you congratulate them with me and the Tech Meets Girls Award. Okay, so first of all, I am going to pass over to uh, Naomi Shah, who was the 2013 Intel Science Talent Search finalist, which is the most prestigious high school science competition in the US. Mm. So you're very prestigious, by <laughs> extension. Thank you. Um, and your environmental science project actually struck a chord with me because I have three brothers who all suffer from really, really bad asthma. Mm -hmm. And when I read about your project, it was about monitoring indoor air quality, right? Yeah. To improve lung health for people who have, um, who have asthma. So could you tell us a bit more about your project? Yes, yeah. definitely. Um, so my research focuses on how indoor air pollutants in our homes, schools, and workplaces affect the lung health of everyone, um, especially asthmatic patients and people with respiratory disorders. And so um, I had a passion for computing, and so I used that in my research to model how these pollutants affect our lung health, which hasn't been done before. So this should really help doctors, patients, and environmental specialists come up with better ways to treat and prevent these disorders um, and just to improve our overall quality of life. <laughs> So um, I have had a variety of experiences in my life so far um, around computing and I'm really passionate about computing also. So in high school um, I used uh, computing to, um, in, my si in my research projects, um, one with um, plotting like flight stability of model rockets and another researching an anti um, about body therapy to breast cancer. And uh, I also, um, I had, for, to make some money on the side, I started my own website development business, and <laughs> which was really fun and a great learning experience. And also, um, I, and then I became really interested in the problem in my high school where 
there wasn't a lot of um, girls in the advanced math and science classes in comparison to boys. And so um, I was a teaching assistant to a, a program that started very really recently at my school um, that holds monthly workshops on Saturdays for girls um, in middle school and high school and to encourage them to um, pursue and take more math and science classes. And so that it's all been a really good experience. And um, now I really believe that um, technology could be used. I believe in technology could be used to help alleviate poverty in developing countries. And uh, so that's what I, pers I see myself pursuing technology with in the future. Great, thanks. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah.